sometimes he says stuff that's pretty good, and sometimes he says stuff that is just fucking stupid. Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're all having a good day. So, Anthony Mackey is saying that his version of Captain America will be more of a humane cap compared to his predecessor. You see, Captain America, Steve Rogers, one of the most humane people out there. Compared to this cap, um, who freaking sympathized with terrorism, and he has the gall to say that this cap is more humane. Well, let's get into it, folks. Oh, shout out to Spencer Pakuli from Sh Bounding Into Comics. You do great work there, dude. So, according to Anthony Mackey, though he may be succeeding Chris Evans in the role as Marvel Cinematic Universe's version of the Star Spangled Avenger, his take on Captain America will set himself apart from his predecessor through his humanity. <laughs> Mackey, who is set to take Sam Wilson's Falcon cap from his Disney Plus debut in Falcon and a Winter Soldier to the silver screen with the upcoming Captain America New World Order, you think they couldn't be any more on the nose, explain the differences between his Ev Evans' shield-wielding styles during, or his and Evans' shield-wielding styles during a recent interview with Yahoo Entertainment or entertainment's uh, Kevin Polowi? Polowi? I don't know. And primarily speaking in promotion of the soon-to-be-released comedy horror film, We Have a Ghost, Mackie was eventually asked by Polowi if he could provide insight on how his approach to the mantle departs most dramatically from Chris, to which the actor quickly asserted, My cap, he's not a superhero. Oh, okay. He doesn't have a super serum. That's obvious. So his superpower is his humanity. <laughs> Does he not? Did he not watch the MCU that he was a part of? Why was Steven Rogers selected for the super serum program? Oh, that's right. Because he was a good man according to the doctor. Oh my God. It was because of his humanity, his hu humility, his ability to be humble in all things that made him Captain America. What the fuck, man? So, I think with him, he has to come to the stage with a very different understanding of what it is to be a good guy or be a bad guy and what are the decisions that make you toe the line in the way that you did yeah you mean like sympathizing with terrorists like your captain america did and reigniting the race war like your captain america did people weren't looking at you because of your race people didn't give two shits about that in real life. But apparently, your Marvel character had to reignite that. You're no better than Obama in that case. Anyway, I just see him as a more of a humane cap as opposed to a cap of judgment where this is right or this is wrong. He added, there are decisions that you or that make you choose right or wrong. That's because the world was more defined by morals. Instead, this world is wanting you to question all of your morals because of delusional behavior by people. So yeah, you're not any better or you're not a better cap. Sorry. Then met with an interjection from Pauline of and we know he's going to have a better taste in music. A reference to Cap recommending Marvin Gaye's Trouble Man soundtrack to Steve in Captain America Winter Soldier. Mackie playfully quipped, possibly pun intended, and a flyer costume. Wow. Well, because it's leg day every day, we're going straight spandex. 
none of this cotton stuff. We're doing it, or we're doing straight spandex. Uh huh. Though Mackie was providing fans with teases of things, or with teases of things to come, a sneak peek at his more humane cap can be caught in the aforementioned Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Therein, though his screen time as Captain America probably relegated to just the latter half of the series finale, in that brief time Mackie Wilson's pl- willingly lays himself at the mercy of the confirmed or of confirmed terrorist Carly Morgenthal in an attempt to appeal to her humanity, only surviving thanks to the inf- intervention of Sharon Carter, blames her and her fellow Flag Smashers' destructive actions on the Global Reparation Council's agreement to return individuals displaced by Thanos' snap to their home countries. And when asked by the GRC member that or what he recommends they do to avoid such situations simply and rather condescendingly replies, do better. Okay, okay, how would you do better? How would you do better? Come on, Cap, answer me, man. Fucking idiot. Truly, the actions of someone ostensibly set to lead and guide a new generation of Earth's mightiest heroes. Captain America, New World Order is currently on track to fly into theaters on May 3rd, 2024. So thank God, well, I'm not going to be watching that. I've checked out of the MCU. I, I'm sorry, folks. I won't review any more MCU films because they have decided to engage in segregational identity politics narratives on, uh, or in their projects. But yeah, um, he's saying he's more humane than Captain America when he actually identified and sympathized with terrorism, which is considered wrong. Terrorism to anybody is considered wrong. Instead, he's like, well, maybe they got a good point. No, they're actively breaking the law. They are committing acts of terrorism. They're killing people. And you fucking decide to say, well, they're victims. No. They stopped being victims when they decided to act in a terrorist fashion. I'm sorry, Anthony. You are not more humane than Captain America, Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers had that humility, had that humanity before the serum ever entered his fucking veins. You just simply grew up in a different time than Captain America, but you somehow seem to think that you are better qualified for that shield. To be honest, you, your character, now that they have decided to reignite a race war and sympathize with terrorism, and, uh, basically be anti-government and Chris Evans in real life he's also an asshole just as disgusting you guys are good actors you guys play great roles but your role as Ca- the new Captain America is not better than Chris Evans Captain America your role as the new Captain America is more of a terrorist version of Captain America because honestly Only a terrorist would sympathize with another terrorist. Anyway, folks, that's going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. What do you think of this nonsense? Do you think that he has a point of where he's going to be a more humane cap? Or do you think that Steven Rogers was the better and, or is the original and best Captain America? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. This has been Orange Hat Reviews, everybody. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and always remember, stay humble.